This is when the narcissist will return. This is when they will come back. The narcissist used you for everything you were worth. They drained you of your time, energy, money and resources. That is why they targeted you in the first place. Because they saw the benefits you could bring to them. They saw how you could make their lives more convenient. And they wanted to partake in everything valuable that you had to offer while they had nothing to bring to you. They had nothing that would improve your life, but they simulated value. They put on their charm. They made you believe they had something. They gave you a false impression they used future faking so that they could secure you as their source of supply so that you would provide these conveniences to them because you were led to believe that there was an equal exchange you were led to believe that you were getting something back in return or you were, you were misled by their arrogance and entitlement into thinking that they were deserving of what you had to offer. And the narcissist played along. They made you believe that they were on the same level. But when you give something of value to someone who doesn't deserve it, it will always be mistreated. It will always be treated cruelly and unfairly. They don't know how to treat something of value because they don't have something valuable of their own. So the narcissist will end up abusing you. They will confuse you. They will make you miserable. And they will keep you looking at yourself in a negative light. They will keep you thinking that you are to blame. They will keep you thinking that you're not doing enough for them. They will have you running endlessly on this hamster wheel trying to please them. But you will never get anywhere. Because they know exactly what they're doing. They're just trying to milk as much out of you as they can. Which is why whenever you come close to giving them what they want. They move the goalposts. They act like they're not happy or they want something else. Because they already know what type of reaction that's going to produce within you. They know that it's going to make you try harder. And your reaction fuels them. It makes them feel special and important. It makes them feel desirable and attractive. It doesn't benefit them in any way to be happy or satisfied. Or to tell you that you've done enough. That's not going to benefit them. Because then it would mean that you could stop. And as soon as you stop fulfilling their demands. You would be looking at them and realising that they're not bringing anything to the table. You would realise that they don't hold a valuable purpose in your life. And you're the one who is doing all of the work. But they don't want you to come to that conclusion. So they keep you in a state of confusion. They keep you looking at yourself. They keep you thinking that you need to do more. 
that is how they lock you under their control. It's only when you catch on to their game that they then realize they need to bail. When you start questioning and confronting them, when you realize that you're doing too much, when you realize that they're not bringing anything of value to you, at that point, if you don't discard the narcissist, they will discard you because they cannot remain around someone who doesn't validate their false self. They cannot remain around someone who doesn't support the illusion. The reason why narcissists act so arrogant and entitled is because they're actually very insecure. They lack confidence in themselves, which is why they require constant attention and validation. They cannot be alone. But when they can manipulate you into doing all of these things for them, it supports the illusion it reflects back to them that they must be something great. Otherwise you wouldn't be doing that. They don't consider that they have manipulated you because they can't escape their own fantasy. They're under the same spell that they have put on you and they want you to exist in this world with them. They expect you to deny reality. But when you let the light in, it blinds them. It's like sunlight to a vampire. And that is when the narcissist will discard you. Because you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation, because you're withholding your attention or resources, or because they've drained everything out of you. They might expect you to remain around them, even though they have nothing to offer you but they're not going to do the same for you. As soon as you catch on to their game or they've drained you of everything, they're out of there. They're going to look for someone else who can supply them with what they need. And they're going to blame you for everything that went wrong. But once you've had some time away from the narcissist, that is when the game changes. Because once you've had some time to yourself, you're able to think clearly. You're able to focus. You replenish your energy and resources. You become stronger mentally and emotionally you have more money. And that is when the narcissist will return. Because that's why they targeted you in the first place. They wanted the fruits of your labor. They return with their arrogance and entitlement because they want a piece of the pie. They will either come back with love bombing or if it ended because you figured them out, they will come back with threats and intimidation because they know that you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation. But this is when the narcissist will return. 
When you've climbed out of the hole they left you in. When you've got back on your feet. That's when they want to come back. After you've emerged from the ashes. And then they expect you to help them. When they were never there for you. They didn't help you to get to where you are now. And yet now they want to return to you. After you've done all of the work. Completely delusional people. But this is the mindset of the narcissist. This is the result of their arrogance and entitlement. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonate with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.